Taylor <laughs> Zakar Perez and Nicholas uh, Galadzine are about to become your new favorite enemies to lovers as a pair. Zakar Perez, 31, and Galadzine, 28, star in Alex Claremont Diaz and Prince William of, or Prince Henry of Wales, respectively, in the new rom com Red, White, and Royal Blue, uh, which premieres on Prime Video on Friday, August 11th. It, it premiered on Friday, August 11th. Based on the 2019 best selling book by Casey McQuiston, queer young adults now have another love story to binge on. I sent you to the royal wedding the simple instruction. Don't cause an international incident. How's it going? You've done some pretty stupid things in your day, but this... Thanks for cake? Henry shoved me. An urge I currently share. What I need is some good old-fashioned damage control. The White House and the palace are going to release a joint statement. You've got to be choking. You can hate Prince Henry all you want. My NDA is bigger than yours. I want you to know that. You're wearing lifts. Know that too, sweetheart. You better act like the sun shines out of his ass and you have a vitamin D deficiency. I think Philip is what you might say to convince the world that we're actually friends. I love hanging out with this guy. We never have to see each other again. You're expected at my New Year's party. Did I do something wrong? Do you ever wonder who you'd be if you were an anonymous person in the world? I have no idea what you're talking about. You're as thick as it gets. I want someone to love what I meant Over when I yourself, said. your majesty. It's your royal highness. Oh. Dear Alex, I miss you. Good morning. We are in a hotel crawling with reporters. If anyone sees you leave this hotel, I will Brexit your head from your body. Your Royal Highness. You need to figure out if you feel forever about him. Do you love him? What difference would it make if I did? I want someone to love. Prince Henry belongs to Britain. I need. We can figure out a way to love each other on our own terms. It's like there's a rope attached to my chest and it keeps pulling me towards you. Hopefully we'll get through tonight without any more scandals. <laughs> the night is young, Ma. Well, question four, with a Bacardi shot, I'd swallow that. I had no clue what red, white, and royal blue was about, but now I want to see it. Never heard of it. Want to see it now. Yeah. It seems like every gay boy and a, a lot of gay girls saw this movie around, you know, and our trans siblings and our non-binary folks. A lot of people saw this movie over the weekend, and I felt like I was the only one who, mm. who didn't, you know? And I even posted on my timeline saying, am I the only one who didn't see Red, White, and Royal Blue? And I got a flood of people saying, I saw it twice, I cried, I love this part, Uma Thurman looks amazing, so I had to get on the queue. I gotta go watch it. I haven't seen it yet, but all the things that transpire so far that I've seen look interesting, you know, and they, and they didn't make it like a gay movie. I never even heard of this movie, now, you know? Help me. This is um, a documentary with uh, Prince William and Prince Harry and they're making out. Is that Ew! We were... okay, now, oh. now, if, if it no. would have been written up that way, maybe I would have watched it. Now, I'm very, oh. so when, when Faye oh. talked about it, I was one of those people who said I did not see it. They did not post it. But then looking at it, I'm like, okay, how many rom-coms can we get with two white folks who Fall, don't fall in love, don't fall in love, want to fall in love, get married, get cry because I can't love you, but I want to love you, but now we're going to do something else. And then at the end... Wait, have you watched film in well, the last hundred years? Well, you know, I told y'all my gay daughters, my gay, my gay gene, I'm missing it. So all of this just means anything, so I did not drink. However, I will because our friend of the show, John, said it makes you want to fall in love. Aww. So I, and so as John, I'm a follow, you know. If he, I still had tear ducts, one would be coming down. Because they're, they're, they're in the back of your ear. We know that. Like, but think about it, done. but think about it for folks at home that don't know. So basically it's like the son of the president of the United States, who is Uma Thurman. What a wonderful country that'd be if she was our president. And then the son of, you know, the prince, of, you know, a Britain, basically. So those two fall in love. Like, what oh, a cool so little story. Oh, so this is not about Harry and No, Ray. it's not about. No, it's well, not. Well, I it's just not. realized, like, looking at the, when everybody at home was just looking at this preview, I'm like, why does this guy look Indian to me? So then I just looked him up, because you just said two white guys. And this guy is uh, Middle Eastern, Mediterranean, awesome. and Mexican. Awesome. So I'm like, I kept seeing, like, the Middle Eastern Perfect. features of them. So now that I'm looking at that, I'm like, I definitely am going to see it. And it does look kind of cute in a way that, like, 
the stereotypical bros and what that other movie that we talked about last Wait, week was on there. Wait, this is stereotypical. The, the, the co- right, thank you. No, this looks more like The Politician, the one with Ben Platt and like that kind of vibe to it. Oh. So I definitely would watch I it. The you know, I had somebody straight tell me that they saw it over the weekend and they said that the reason that they saw it was because that it wasn't presented as a gay mm-hmm. film. It was not like bros that you were telling me to go see and that I had to go see to support yeah. the community. It just it's wasn't that. a gay movie. You know, and, and just uh, the newsy kind of uh, thing coming from me, uh, it's interesting because Bros has actually done better uh, in the, in uh, after about 90 days. It actually did better in box office and, and watch than it did in the first 90 days. And the reason lots of people in the know say it did better is was gone of the ram, this is historic, down your throat. And once all of that was gone, then people could start to digest bros and they watch bros. I watched bros seven, eight months later after seeing it. It was better, weekend. right? It was a better movie because yeah. it's like all of that nonsense that you crammed down our throat is gone. And and I liked it. Well, and you, and you also remember that also, you know, there's still a huge stigma with being gay. OK, so the fact that it's a gay movie, people were like, oh, I'm not going to see that. Yeah. This was streaming. Yeah. So in the privacy of your own home, you're gay AF, right? So. Yeah. That's also why. I was say, you can relax and, and digest it, is yeah, to your point. Exactly. All right. We are Queer News Tonight, the world's first and only live daily LGBTQ plus evening news show brought to you from Happening Out Television Network. We operate in the same model of PBS and NPR, but for the LGBTQ plus community. We educate, inform, and entertain by supporting the 10 pillars of our LGBTQ plus community with more than 100,000 a week watching us on Roku, Apple Television, and other channels. To keep the story going, we accept donations with 100% transparency. Stay updated and live authentically with Queer News Tonight.